AI still in here, and yeah, this is gonna be a nice clean XYU lagging session because uh yeah why not? <laughs> so um, I'm using a nice BWAU team. This is my uh, best one. It was good from like stage six to stage twelve. It's called Lugged Mountain. So um as you can see, I have an OTL coil of a Slow King plus um a Scavalier, and then I have three sweepers and Nido Queen, Absol and uh, Tolos, and I have a nice Suicide Lead Smilgo. So um, all I did to change this from uh, BWAU was a uh, I changed Absol to Mega Absol. I made Smilgo a I changed me to go from um, Spice Sticky Web because Sticky Web's pretty good right now. So, um, yeah, other than that, the same team. I'm, I've already done like 15 battles with this, I think. I think I'm like 13 too ish. So, yeah, it's pretty good even in UU, um, mainly because Slow King plus Copper is own. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, it's connecting right now, taking forever, as always, because Showdown's gay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I got about. Um, so this guy has I guess a somewhat weird team that's not really standard. He has a nice seven knot, nice blast toys, nice needle queen. Yeah, nice umbreon wall, so pretty good. Um Okay, so I'm gonna leave with Smiggle just because I like, can be most of the stuff he leaves with. And yeah, he's leaving with Del Fox, I'm just gonna go for the spore because why not? It's spore. Unless he goes to Trevenot, which outspeeds, so not to be a good deal. So, it's going for him to make a move here, um, he's going to attack me, which is fine, because that means that, uh, I get off a nice spoil on this, pretty good for me, and yeah, I'm going to go for Stealth Lock, because why not, um, he's a Blastoise, but it's kind of annoying, because Mega Blastoise, but, um, I mean, I'll lose much, but going for, um, Stealth Lock, uh, I kind of wish I had Explosion, so I could explode on Spinners, but, uh, I need Whirlwind, just in case something has sub, so, whatever, I'm going to go for Sticky Web now, just because, why not, he's going to set up Locks, which is fine. I'm gonna go for whirlwind because there's no point in like, switching this out. Okay, he's gonna go for T spikes. I have Mido Queen, so not gonna be an issue. Um, I'm gonna whirlwind this in case he's a sub, so that's fine. Um, he's gonna kill me with horn leech, not to be an issue. Uh, I don't want anything any poison, so I have to go to Mido Queen here to get the toxic spikes, so that's fine. Uh, Sledge Wave won't do too much, so I think I have to flamethrower. I'm just gonna flamethrower this. It should two hit KO him. But he might have switched his belly, which I just thought of, and he's going to lead seed me. So this thing kind of annoying right now, but whatever. So my flamethrower did like 58%, so I'm not even going to kill it, which is kind of annoying, but go for it anyway, see how much it does. Maybe I can get a burn or something, I kind of just need to um, stall this thing out until I can eventually switch, because this thing's kind of a bitch, because it might have will o to hit my, uh, what's it called, a scavalier, so yeah. Either way, I can probably beat this thing, 1-1-1, one, one, one. and unless he gets to just build a heal, okay, he doesn't, so, pretty good, 53%, I can kill him now, I play him so I'm gonna go for them, take this thing out, and yeah, he goes to Blastoise, but not typically gonna deal, because I do a Thunderbolt, which might, I don't think it, I don't, it might kill it, I don't know, it might not kill Mega Blastoise, but it should do enough, he can't really spit on me, because I do a TO him, so, not that big of a deal, um, yeah, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt now, do 18, do a, a lot, he's gonna spin, which is pretty gay, but whatever. That's not too big of an issue. I'm just gonna Sludge Wave the Switch, because it does a lot of damage to anything, basically, so, yeah. He's gonna go back to Evi, I'm gonna go for Sludge Wave, I do a shit ton, pretty good. And, yeah, so, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna get Toilos now for free, though, so, not too big of a deal for me. And now, I'm gonna just go for the, I have Fire Blast with Trevenant, I'm just gonna go for the, uh, I'm sorry, lock climb it because I don't want Trevenant getting such a belly if he puts it in. So, yeah, um, he might be in Trevenant now. I don't know how much Fire Blast does actually, so I should probably find that out. He's one of Blast Voice, which I kill with lock climb, so whatever. It's fine by me, I guess. Um, just a flea sack. So, he's made Umbreon now, which is also to his kill. So, I think he's oh, it's not to his kill. Wow, it's pretty strong. Okay, um. He might wish here, so I kind of want to switch to Absol, predicting the wish, and, uh, no, <laughs> well, that sucked, okay, it's fine, I could justify it, which I didn't even think about, that's pretty amazing, actually, so, now I have plus one attack, which is really going to help me out, I can superpower this, and it's going to kill it for sure, so, yeah, and if I had done headbutt, I might actually be able to win here, but I don't, so, whatever, uh, I can do some damage to Nido Queen, and then win with, uh, Toilos, probably, so, not a big deal. So, uh, yeah, Lugged Mountain starting off pretty good right now. Get a free soccer punch. I have Iron Tail for Floridus, which is, um, basically, you have to learn Super Punch, Soccer Punch, and, uh, 
I mean, superpower sucker punch and swords and like every set. So the last move is basically like a toss up. You can Zen head, but you can knock off. You can learn Iron Tail for Floridus, which is just like a niche move, I guess. But Zen head like the best option all down. But I like having something hit Floridus because Floridus is gay as fuck. Fuck that gay ass mod. <laughs> it evolves like a lot of my team. It's kind of annoying. One that I see doesn't. It evolves a. Uh, it evolves Slow King, which is kind of an issue just because it's Slow King, but. You know, on this team I could probably lend that headbutt just because I do have a scout leader for um, Floridus, but whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for Lock Alarm again because I didn't want him to. Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, he's gonna kill me, which is fine because I now live with a uh, Slow King, so what's that pretty well? I just need to weaken it just in case Scal didn't kill it or something. But now I have a guaranteed win. I can just go for that. I'm gonna go for Scal. Maybe if he switches to something, I can burn it, whatever, so. Yeah, should be good. I'm gonna kill that. I have five blasts with seven on, then I can just kill a sleeping Del Fox with anything really. So, yeah, that should be the game. So, Lucky Mountain wins the first game of the series. Pretty good for me. And yeah, this team's still pretty good right now. I'm kind of surprised actually working so well, but it, this team worked from like stage six to stage 12, which is like a while ago. That was like two years, I think. One year? Yeah. Right now, all use like. A ridiculous like stage number so yeah um the tier is basically over okay well I miss so that's pretty damn annoying actually <laughs> uh okay um that's kind of a bitch um I'm gonna go for it again just because I guess it works and I, yeah I should win anyway okay I missed twice are you kidding me oh my god that's so good okay, I missed twice which is a major bitch but that's fine. I'm just gonna knock this off because it might, it, it should like kill it. Okay. So, and if I recall correctly, this thing hasn't slept at all. Yeah, okay, it doesn't slept at all, so I have a guaranteed win. So, yeah, even with the hacks, I still win. So, yeah, GG, dude. And yeah, I wanna win for the mountain. So, pretty good. Uh, yeah. Move on to the next game. He's gonna have. A nice clean standard offense team. Got eventually like Cactus and Hotsko, Quagsire, um, Chandelure and Empoleon. I mean, it's not standard, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, once again, I'm leaving with Smeargle. I can beat Gavantula one on one, so that's a big issue. He leaves with Cactus, which uh, is a million to spoil because Glass type, but that's a big deal in general. Because if he sets up, I can just whirlwind it, so yeah, that's a big deal for me. I'm just going for Stealth Lock here because Stealth Lock works out in the end. And doesn't they have a default behind Polion? So, yeah, and I can beat him probably with a lot of my stuff. So, well, not a lot of my stuff, only like two, three mons. But, okay, anyway, he's gonna drain punch me. I could sticky web, or I could go for a whirlwind, but, uh, I'm not, he's not gonna set up. I'm gonna go for sticky web, screw it. Okay, he's gonna kill him with drain punch, what's that well for me? And I can bring up my needle queen for free. Uh, I kinda wanna sludge wave, but at the same time, Earth power doesn't always kill um Empoleon. I need flamethrower plus Earth power. So just in case he actually goes to Empoleon, I'm gonna go for flame. Uh, no, he's not gonna go to Empoleon. I'm on. Uh, oh wait, oh, <laughs> fuck. oh my god, choked on dick. Oh my god, I should have flamethrowered it. Yeah, I should have trusted my gut. I don't think it was gonna Empoleon though. That, that would be, I don't know. That was really, yeah. See, flamethrower would have killed it. That that's really gay actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> I I really fucked that up. Um, whatever. That's a good deal. I'm just gonna go for. Oh, I was about to t-bolt it. Shit. What am I doing? Oh, I need to play better. This guy's playing like a little So, yeah. I basically got t-bolted. I got this thing dead. But I guess he didn't see that coming. I don't. I don't really know. He's playing like the totally bad. He's beating me because of it. But uh, yeah, that's what I hate about a lot of all these news, man. Oh well. That's a good deal. I can still win this pretty easily, honestly. Just because I'm pulling on this weekend, so I basically, if I kill this, I'm pretty sure I win with my slow king, so that's a good deal. Um, OTS slow king is pretty good in this meta game, actually, just because um, with fire blast, scal, you can get burns and you have side shock, so those three moves are pretty good covers together, so work out pretty well in sweeping offensive team, especially. So, because offense is really hard time playing with this, is because I do have smiggle, I do have trick room, so. You might find that um, sticky web trick room is kind of weird, but my, my trick room sweepers are so slow, it doesn't really matter if trick room's up. And my other trick sweepers are pretty fast anyway, so. They, they, they're pretty. Like, Needle Queen with, with sticky web up is pretty, like, damn devastating in general, so. Yeah, um, this guy's not making a move, so. Uh, <laughs> that, that's kind of the toilet. I could do another game, but, um. 
Yeah, so I'm, I just went for T-Bolt to kill this, and if he switches out for some Latoda's reason, I, I win anyway, so, I mean, he's kind of weak to Nita Queen. Um, if I Flamethrower, like, to him before, like, I should have, like, I originally said I was going to, I would have won by now, <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Um, so he's not going to make a move, so at this point, I'm probably going to make it get another game, because screw this. So, yeah. Uh, oh, now he has to make, are you kidding me? Oh my god, what a troll. He seriously <laughs> What? What? Okay, so he literally moved a second ahead of the game. That's a toy. Whatever. He's not gonna get Vantula. He's gonna go for the game because I'm gonna kill it with Sludge Wave. So, yeah, it's dead. So, yeah. Uh, this guy the timer yet? No. Okay, I'm gonna say John. So, he might sucker punch me. He doesn't. He just died. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna he's getting fucked right now. So, whatever. He might just get swept by this. Honestly, like, oh, actually, he would have gotten swept if I had Siggy Web up, but I don't. He's making character, which is another mom that dies, so that's cool. Um, no, he has Focus Ash, that, that's kind of gay. He's in an SD. Um, we're gonna Absol here, but in the Sucker Punch. He's the most obvious Sucker Punch in the world right now. And then Mega Evolve, I'll go for Sucker Punch myself. Take this thing out. And yeah. Death. So, it's gonna leave Quags Island, Polion, and Lula left. And he this guy flip it. Good for me because <laughs> I have this other game. So this guy has a gay ass um balance team, I guess. He has chest not as a wall, tend to go as a wall. Like so Peter's a tank thing, the so choice go up to man to make a minute check and uh what's this um hot scroll life whip. So yeah, he's he's timeless so I kinda move now. Um he has tentacles of spinner. Um oh yeah, and all you even though this even though like kabutops and like stuff was really common, I still didn't let a spinner, I mean a spin blocker just because like I don't think I really needed one, I still went anyway. And that's kind of what's happening here. I, I wouldn't even though, like, because if you have to waste it to a default, I can get, like, some momentum anyway, so. Not to be a good deal in general, so. Anyway, I'm just gonna spoil This is my chest, not a big deal. I just went for spoil anyway, just because, in case he didn't switch, so. Whatever, I can't stealth block now. For free, basically. He might, like, drain punch me in the lead seed. So, I'm gonna miss Hammer, I'm fine by me. Uh, I'm gonna go for Sticky Web, because why not? <laughs> Force him to spin eventually, right? So, he's gonna Hammer on me. In case he wants to switch here, I'm going to go for a low win. I, I don't have any other plays anyway, so whatever. Um, and in case he wants to like, lead seed me or something, so he's going to go for wood hammer, which is fine. Um, I'm going to bring in my uh, Needle Queen, just because I do have Sludge Wave. I do have basically everything to beat this guy's team at this point. So Needle Queen is the best option for by far. And Showdown's kind of lagging right now, as you can see, because I already hit my move and it's not like showing up. So. Um, this thing's glass fighting, so it's not gonna take a sludge wave. And technical dies sludge wave plus uh, an earth power, so yeah, pretty good position for me. He can't like switch out because he kind of dies. It has nothing to take Nido Queen on. Like Nido Queen pretty much owns this guy's entire team, honestly. Like it KO, it always kills pretty much everything he has. So I mean, yeah, he's gonna go technical, which is fine because sludge wave plus earth power KOs as I said before. So yeah, oh what that didn't that didn't do as much as I thought. Oh uh, he's I guess he's special defensive technical or something, but. Whatever, those power should kill it. What the? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's a tall dude. So those power does not kill, which that 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 blows. But whatever. So in the end, I lost my Smeargle, but he basically lost Tentacle, so it evens out in the end. See, like the spin of us is this team. You have to like basically sack one even Pokemon anyway, so it evens out in general. So whatever. So I still have the advantage. You can see it is five five, and I did kill. I did kill Tentacle, so. Uh, pretty good for pretty good for me considering Nido Queen still a threat and under see with well, this team like because I do have Trick Room, um Nido Queen actually beat a lot of his team on the Trick Room, which actually helps me out a lot. So anyway, I'm gonna click the flare, but it's gonna go to my uh, Slow King. And yeah, it's an earthquake, this new jack, fine by me. Uh he doesn't really have much for this. Uh he might go to a chestnut. I'm gonna fire blast just because I don't think I can KO in one shot. I put the switch can get a fire blast with a shit ton. So he, he does have, oh nice, I got the burn, so that burn really helps me out now, and I can just trick loom for free, so I'll live with that. <laughs> so I think if I free trick loom, because he does have ward hand, which he showed earlier, so yeah. Okay, he's in a, he's in a synthesis, which is fine, because I, I got a free trick loom, so pretty good for me. Now I'm going to have a free fire blast, which should, which should do a lot of damage or something, so that's a big deal. Um, I killed Chestnut, good for me. He's probably going to haunt, so I'm go for Sucker Punch, so I'm going to get my Scavalier, and then I'm going to get another kill, so... Yeah, my plan's working out pretty smoothly right now. Uh, okay, here's my net trick. Uh, oh, this is what's cool. I'm gonna need a queen here because I know I'm I know I'm faster than a trick room. 
Like that that's something really cool about this team. It's that because like a lot of stuff and you use faster than Nido Queen, you can actually own a lot of them on the chick room. Like it's pretty cool. So um you might put my switch, some sludge wave. Yeah. It's not like what? Okay. It was like appeal to take the oath power, which is just lethality, so I get screwed over by guys lethalation. <laughs> oh well. Um I should have oath power I guess. I mean I figured it might go to Haunch Club of all things, not the fucking like Peely, which is a weak to Oath Power, but okay. So, um, he's specially defensive, I feel like, yes, because that did nothing, so, um, this is kind of an issue for me, because now Trick Room will off, so now he's faster. So, I'm gonna have to go with Cavalier here to take a hit, and yeah. What the fuck? Okay, this is way too powerful. <laughs> um, okay. I kind of have sack this at this point, I don't have much choice, so I'm gonna die. And this is kind of an issue for me just because this thing actually beats a lot of my shit. So I'm gonna go back to Nido Queen and go for Earth Power just to actually do damage to this because this thing's actually a major fucking issue for this team right now. So, wow, Earth Power always gives the whole time. So basically, if I just gone for the safe Earth Power from the beginning, I would have won by now. But whatever. Um, I'm gonna go to my Slow King when I'm done Time because I'm in the hit again, as I said before. So, yeah, um, he's gonna go for Earthquake. And it isn't kill me, which is fine. Now I'm gonna have a free trick room because actually he does have a Hanzo might be a problem in the trick room, so I'm gonna go for Scald. And yeah, that should kill this I think. So pretty good. So I killed it a man tan, we're leaving with Hanzo and Man Trick left, so pretty good for me. Um Taurus lives a hit from um Hanzo, so does my uh Absol, so I'm not worried. I'm still going for Scald because no point in saving this point, so yeah, uh, wait, I gave it Moxie, shit, uh, I think I have to sucker punch this, I don't, actually, this thing's faster, so I'm just gonna this out, it's gonna go for superpower, cause I know I'm faster than this, I know I level 1 sucker punch after right I mega evolve, so, not too late at this point, it's gonna go for the safe superpower, which should be enough to win the game, basically, so, yeah, um, oh, this thing also lets play up, that's another move you can learn on Absol, but yeah, she's so gonna kill me with superpower, which is not too big an issue, because I do have Nido Queen to beat my, his, uh, what's it called, Tolos, I mean, Maniacic, so, yeah, um, I'm assuming this thing dies to Life Orb, because if it doesn't, I think I lose, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna go for Lock Slide and hope that he dies to Sucker Punch, because at this point, I kind of needed to die to Sucker Punch, so, yeah, actually, okay, I live, so I live, I actually live the plus one Sucker Punch, which is kind of surprising, but, yeah, either way, Nido Queen beats Maniacic one-on-one, -on -one, so, not the biggest issue for me, because even a crit HP ice won't kill because of new crit, man, new crit mechanics in Gen 6, so. Yeah. Another game, another win for Logan Mountain, so. Pretty good for me, unless he has some, like, weird ass magnet lies from Manetric, which I admit would be pretty damn gay right now, but. Yeah. So, he's probably gonna go for HP ice, not gonna kill me at all, just gonna lose power. Needle Queen's, like, so strong, it's pretty good, like. Like, it's basically gonna feel the Needle Queen the way I'm using it, I mean, Needle King the way I'm using it, but, like. That's extra bulk helps sometimes, like in this situation it helps. Because Needle King probably dies to create HP ice, but Needle Queen definitely won't. Because the extra bulk, so. It definitely helps me out in some situations like this, so. Yeah, it's going to make a move here. And HP ice, as you can see, is only 57%. So, it's going to finish him off. And yeah, that's the game. So, yeah, peace people. Um, GG's, like an amount coming through right now. So, yeah, um, peace people, I'll upload my later. And yeah, see ya.